It was a slow news day in 1989 when Gilbert Zermeno, or Z as we call him, videotaped four minutes of spot news that would change the valley. A four-year-old girl at the bottom of a swimming pool. The pictures were so powerful, Channel 10 News Director Dave Howell made a decision to lead Phoenix's top-rated newscast with the raw tape. Z was running into the backyard with paramedics with the camera going, um, and he captured um, the tragedy and the drama of that situation in a way that I'd never seen anybody do before and have never seen anybody do since. The story and the attention that followed thrust Z into the spotlight of one of the nation's top TV markets. It was a meteoric rise for a kid who grew up in the dusty plains of West Texas. It was just a really great place to be from, Lorenzo, Texas. His parents were migrant workers. He was the youngest of five children. A regular kid with a look that made you want to say, welcome back to someone named Cotter. Z would soon leave the fields for college, then start a career in local Texas news. The first thing that I shot for them was this guy named Kyoga the Snake Man, who sat in these in this pit with 30 poisonous snakes. Uh, and I lowered the camera down and did this interview with him. And that videotape wound up uh, airing on CBS Morning News a couple of days later. And then a couple of weeks later, I got a check for 350 bucks. And I thought, hey, I think this, this could be a pretty good deal. His work landed him in Phoenix, where he's covered and uncovered Arizona's history in the making for the past 22 years. Then, Kevin Eldridge jumped out. He's out. He's out of the airplane. He is out of the airplane, ladies and gentlemen. He jumped out the Darkness somewhere a long way from home, moving south. This is Bill Everton, New Center 10. I told her she had done enough shooting up that night, you know, because we had both shot up, you know, and she decided, well, I need just that one more hit. Now, if you are a teenager or a parent... And Meekum last night blew his top with reporters. I'm not... Listen, don't you... You are questioning my truth. I gave you the statement. I gave The tension is now beginning to show. That's exactly... Bob McNamara, CBS News, Phoenix. One of the real thrills uh, as a manager is to find somebody who's got great talent and put them in a position where they can really show off and develop. And, and for me, that was the real thrill of working with Z. He now works Why as an investigative producer at CBS that? 5. Why would they make something like this up? He's put crooks in jail, recovered well, money for victims of crime. Yes, sir. I don't want. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. You're don't touch the camera. Our property. Sorry. You okay. Don't touch the camera. I don't want to talk to him, ma'am. I don't want to Look, talk. if you don't want to talk to us, you're welcome to leave, sir. And one more Emmys than you can count on two hands. His peers simply call him a pro. It's the highest compliment anybody could pay to me is to call me a pro uh, or to say that, that, that they were treated fairly by me and by the people that I work with. That's the highest compliment there is out there. Z says his most memorable story is still the near drowning back in 1989. It helped spur the Phoenix City Council to adopt the Valley's first pool fence ordinance. Congratulations, Z.